Let's complete the square. We have a nice quadratic here. We're going to focus on the x squared 4x, uh, the x squared with the x combo. This is like a drum beat. But, um, and from drummer, we're going to switch to be an airplane pilot. We need lots of room to land our airplane. We're going to set up our nice brackets here, and it's going to be squared. The whole point of completing the square is to have something squared so we can read off the vertex. Copy down the x, look at the coefficient in front of the x to the exponent 1, and that number happens to be negative 4. We're going to copy half of that. What's half of, what's half of negative 4? It's negative 2. This positive 1, whatever the number is, we're just going to copy it and, and ignore it for now. So we promise that this underlying part is equivalent to this underlying part, and we're almost right. If you want to foil or expand this out, you'll realize that you're very close, but you're always going to be off by a bit. So how do you fix it? Imagine this is your tummy. You ate too much. So it's always going to be minus. It's always minus, promise you. I don't care how many minus signs there are. I don't care if there's a plus sign. It's always going to be minus. Minus what? It's going to be minus this number squared. This number squared, 2 times 2, is going to be 4. It doesn't matter if there's a minus sign in front of it or a plus sign. We know that a negative times a negative becomes positive 4. But remember, there's a minus 4. Okay, so the rest is pretty easy. Just clean it up a little bit. What's negative 4 plus 1? It's going to be negative 3. So what's the point of completing the square? Who cares? This here is equivalent to this. And the nice thing is now we know where the vertex is. The vertex is going to be the opposite of the x value. So the negative 2 here means it's going to be positive 2. But the y value here, negative 3, remains the same. So the coordinates of the vertex is going to be 2, negative 3.